Alright guys, um, I'm making a video which I never do. I'm making a video because I'm going through methadone withdrawal. Today makes day four of my methadone withdrawal. Which I will request anyone to stay on methadone if you can. Um, the only reason why I'm getting off is because, um, you know, um, possible start of a job and this place ain't cheap. So I need a job to pay the bills. But meth methadone withdrawal is horrible. I mean, look at this. I'm going to show you guys something. See this? I'm pinching at my skin because I want to crawl. And my skin is crawling. I want to rip this shit off. I want to rip my skin off. Um, but, uh, methadone is necessary. I will admit it has truly helped me get through a lot of things. Um, um, unfortunately, um, I was sober for two years, about two years, and I got prescribed pain medication again for my back pain. And then I, uh, quickly found myself addicted to those again. So what I did is before things got out of control, I got myself on the methadone. Um, but now I am um, currently going through methadone withdrawal to get myself on the Subutex um, because I can't take Suboxone um, and also legal cannabis which I'm hoping will relieve me from any opioids such as Subutex. In the Subutex is an agonist and antagonist. I'm just I'm just dragging on. But I just want to let you guys know. Um, if at all possible, stay away from any opiates. Because when you touch them, you will be addicted. You'll be addicted. And, and you know, you might lie to yourself for a couple months, even a couple years you might lie to yourself, but you'll become addicted and then you'll have to go on methadone, you'll have to go on Subutex, some form of opioid maintenance because you're addicted. Um, today's day four, like I mentioned, and you know, like my, my bruise on my arm, I asked my boyfriend, um, I asked Chris, to pinch my skin, to pull my skin. I even went for a knife to cut my skin because um, with the withdrawal from methadone is horrible. It, it's miserable. And not only that, I depleted any actual natural opioids touching my brain um, from creating... Okay, I'm not even talking right right now because I'm in such bad withdrawal. But I'm just saying, um, any natural dopamine my brain creates, it doesn't create that anymore. No more does my brain create opiates or dopamine, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't create that because I fucked my brain up with the dopamine. I probably shouldn't be saying fuck because this is a YouTube video, but my apologies. But I just want to say, anyone that is going through this withdrawal, please stick through it. It's worth it. Um, currently, I, um, on Wednesday, will be able to take my first Subutex, I'm hoping. Um, but if not, um, look, look at this hair. This hair isn't even me. This hair is all messed up. And that's another thing of... of um, methadone withdrawal, opiate withdrawal. You don't take care of yourself. You don't ca take care of your, 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 um, your priorities because you were so sick. Um, it is seven in the morning, but I've been up since 4.30. Um, I probably got two and a half hours of sleep, if that. Um, and this is a rambling video. My apologies, but my request to you is to please, if you are struggling from opiate addiction, please seek help now. If you are struggling from methadone addiction, anything like that, please seek help now. 
They have in Pennsylvania, if you live in Pennsylvania, they now have um, legal marijuana. They have it for opioid addiction. They have it for pain. They have it for PTSD, which, which, which I struggle with. Um, my opioid addiction um, started because of my PTSD. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I never struggled with opiates until my PTSD became a problem and affected my everyday life. It affected my dreams. It still affects my dreams. You know, I don't make it a big issue with my family or, you know, my boyfriend deals with a lot of it because I, I, I give him everything and that's what he's there for, you know, and then why am I dating him if he's not? But what I'm saying is, is that um, my addiction only started like my 21st year of life um, after um, my traumatic incident. Um, I met some dude online and I'm sure you can put the puzzle pieces together. Um, But what I just want to say is if you guys are struggling with opiate addiction, get help now because it's scary. And, and, and you know, you can say you can't control it. It's going to be okay. But you can't. You know, if you're addicted, if you're taking 14 Viking in a day, and let me just even, let me just requote that. If you're taking six Viking in a day or less, just to get yourself up during the day and to get yourself feeling good, then you're an addict. And to say that is true because I've gone through that myself and you need to get help. Um, you may take this as, you know, a grain of salt, but um, legit, I'm an opiate addict and I, I hate to admit that, but I am. The only thing right now that's helping me get through is uh, Troy Sivan. I've been listening to a lot of his music. I've been listening to some MC Mariah Carey. She's my girl. Um, Christopher, my mother. She's a great girl. She's an amazing woman. She saved my life many a times. The only reason why I'm sticking this out is because of her. Um, and also, um, you know, it's, it's freaking not, it's 7.07 in the morning and I'm watching the news and I'm so sick of hearing about Trump. I know it doesn't even make sense about opioid addiction, but I'm so sick of hearing about them bitching about Trump. Let him do what he's doing. If you don't like it, okay, I understand, but all you're doing is bitching about him. How can he complete anything if all you do is bitch about Trump? I guess this is my addiction speaking. You know, he's not my favorite candidate. I wanted Bernie Sanders, but um, we had Hillary Trump. No, 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 not Hillary Trump. We had Hillary Clinton, and we didn't get her, so we got Trump. So you know what we got to do about Trump? We got to accept his ass. We got to accept his bitch ass. And... Let him do what he's doing. P.S. Don't touch opiates. And if you will, you'll be pitching your skin, giving yourself bruises like this, and being sick. I'm just begging you guys not to fuck with opiates. Because if you do, you will get addicted and you will go through withdrawal. I used to lie to myself all the time and say, you know what, I'm not addicted. I only take them for my pain. You know, I only took them for my pain. But it came to where I needed three a day to six a day. And then I went to 14 a day. And then I went to, you know, rehab, which really helped me out. I was sober for um, two years. Um, but then I went back to see a doctor for my pain and he put me back on um, opioid pain killers and I got addicted again 
I should have denied them, but I didn't. You know, what addicts gonna deny pain pills? Um, but what happened is I got addicted and quickly before it got out of control, I got back on the methadone program. What I'm asking for you guys is to get yourself some help. Okay, girl? Get yourself some help. Get yourself some help. Oh, you know what also helps when you're going through withdrawal? Is Shit's Creek. That is my jam right now. That is my show right now. Shit's Creek. That is an amazing show. Amazing show. You know, do whatever it is you need to do to get yourself through through withdrawal. You know, my doctor called me in Valium. I didn't pick it up yet, but I probably will be today because my skin is crawling. I went out of it. But the video, the point of this video is, is to stay away from opiates. And if you can't, get help now, nigga. Get some help. Get yourself some help. Get yourself some help.